Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thanks for watching. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. So today's video is going to be a very quick video. I went to Turkey for holiday. So I just wanted to show you the bits and bobs that we bought um, from the souvenir shops for the house and just, you know, stuff that you buy when you go abroad. <laughs> so I really hope you enjoyed the video and let's get started. So I'm wearing glasses, so let me remove this. <laughs> so the first item that we got was this um, very nice lamp. I really like the uh, color, the colors. I like the, uh, I love this jade blue and um, what is it? Jade blue and then the navy blue as well combination. It's a real lamp. It, it works. Um, it's an oil lamp, isn't it? I don't know. I think you need to put like wax. I don't know. <laughs> but I really like it. It, really, it looks really, really lovely. And uh, it's handmade. And um, obviously, um, this was one was one of the first one of the first items that we got, and um, it wasn't it wasn't that expensive. But I always allow um, a budget for you know just to buy stuff like that for the kitchen for the house in general. I like buying paintings and stuff like that, so I was willing to pay the price. But it wasn't that expensive, you can always, you know, negotiate the price. But this is one of the first items that we got and it looks lovely. So the idea is to put this on my coffee table on when it arrives. And uh, I cannot wait to put it, probably I'll put it on top of books, something like that. Okay, and the next item... We got two of these uh, pouring, um, I don't know, it's, it's a jar container. Um, they've got the big ones, the big versions. They've got like different colors, brown, black, but the big ones, the idea is that in the past they used to put it like that, okay, this way, and then pour the wine. But obviously these tiny ones, you can't do it. But I just wanted to get one of those and uh, even before uh, we landed I was already thinking and and then as soon as we got there we start looking for them they are everywhere um, this was my partner who chose it is very colorful um, but you know I let him choose it <laughs> just one thing that's fine but I really like the um, the fact that it's all handmade it's not made in China um, no, I haven't got nothing against China. I love China. I've been to China twice and I plan to go back But when you go to a country you is I'm talking about me me and my partner We like to buy stuff that were made in that country Especially like if they were, the things were handmade. We really like it and um, As opposed to having something made in China, but yeah, as you can see it's got like um, nice colors if you like this uh, kind of um, orange, green and um, I'm not sure where I'm going to put this but I'll find the place but it's really lovely as you can see so there are a lot of noises today because my tumble dryer is on and the fireplace as well and um, so this is really nice and the second one is a smaller version of that one but this was my choice um, this looks more royal and uh, it goes more with the theme that I have at home you know in terms of color scheme but this and um, just I'm going to use this like purely for decorating uh, sorry as a de decorative item and um, I'm not gonna put anything in it it looks lovely so tell me what you guys think do you prefer this one or the other colorful one that my partner chose <laughs> he's very competitive if he wins he's gonna be you know showing off and I'm not never gonna hit the end of it and uh, I'll show you the, the other one again just to compare just move a little bit further 
looks like the second one. Okay, and another so, and I got this one as well, jade blue. This I'm going to use to. Um, I don't know. I'm going to put olive oil. I already have an olive oil container, but I'm going to use these, you know, just for special occasions. So this looks so beautiful, and it feels so good as well because it's all handmade again. And look at the pattern, the details as well. I'll just put it here so you guys can see. So it's really nice and full of details. So, like I said, I'm just gonna use this one um, only, you know, for special occasions to put it on the table and um, just keep it with my other stuff, with my other dining wear. I really, really like this. They had a big version of this one, but we can, couldn't buy it because you can only bring so much in your hand luggage. Uh, otherwise if you I don't know you just risk damaging it breaking it so I prefer not to take any any risk any chance so this look at this beauty oh my goodness look at the details I love the green the dark blue the this is what baby blue I would say white the uh, guy said this is handmade as well as you can see the guy said that you can use these to put in the oven, but I don't believe him. I'll never put this in the oven. I'll just use it as a normal serving dish, you know, because I don't want to risk damaging it. I'm not even going to put it in the dishwasher. But look at this guy. Look at that. So beautiful. Look at the patterns. I really love the... Uh, I'm, I'm a sucker for like a combination of blue and white, you know, anything that looks very royal, I really like, very Victorian. I just love it so much. So I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of um, use out of it as well. So I was looking for the one of, uh, for something like this uh, from on my second day. Once we bought the pouring, um, jars I started looking for plates because I like buying plates as well on when I went to Portugal I went bonkers looking for plates I just love that so beautiful isn't it tell, please tell me guys what you think tell me which one is your favorite so far let me know in the comments below and um, we also got this beautiful tile this was my partner's idea they sell these tiles every, everywhere uh, we went inside a palace where they've used this kind of tiles to uh, decorate some of the rooms in the palace. So it's very, I think it's something very traditional of Turkey as well. But like I said, they also have that in Portugal. Um, I think they also have things similar stuff in Italy. Excuse my nails, I just did them for the videos. <laughs> I need to do them properly, but never mind yeah so this is so beautiful as well i can feel as i run my fingers across it i can feel all the details as well and again it's blue and white and if you look at the flowers and all the patterns i don't know if you're able to see it but it's so so beautiful and then again you can use this to decorate your table you know on a special occasion you have people for dinner depends on the thing on the thing that you're going for you could use this to, you know, as a tablescape as well, as part of your tablescape, I don't know. But I'll definitely be using it for that as well. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like this tile? Is that something that you would buy as well? Do you guys like buying things like that on holidays? Like things for the kitchen, things for the house? I absolutely adore buying stuff for the kitchen. And when I say the kitchen, it's mainly because, you know, <laughs> I also got these tiny little um, dishes. They are good for um, dips, isn't it? You could use them to put your dips inside. And um, this is not my kind of uh, design, I mean, in terms of color, but that's all they had. And then um, this was my favorite one, but they didn't have any more of that. So that's why I had to get um, them 
um, in a variety of different styles so I got this one as well and um, this one as well this one is the red one so let me know what you guys think and wait and um, another thing that I got was this um, cushion cover don't know if you guys can see it properly I just wanted to get something Turkish and um, it had some of the colors. It has some of the colors that I like, which is the pink and the blue. If you observe my kitchen, I've got black cabinets, but all the appliances are either blue or pink. I like blush colors, pastel colors, and um, so this is really lovely. I'll probably use this in my bedroom uh, because my bedroom is all white and my bed is blue. It's navy blue, so I think it'll go really well with the whole uh, color scheme let me know what you guys think do you like this cushion as well is that something that you would buy I just wanted to have something Turkish in terms of um, um, I don't know let me know what you guys think do you like this is it a good choice yeah do you think it would work with my green sofa as well let me know please what else did we buy uh, these were my part. My partner chose these things. They are like pouring um, metal um, uh, jars. I don't know. They're not jars. I keep saying jars. I can't remember. Uh, um, what is it? A container? I don't know. It's just uh, they are pouring. You know, for your milk, coffee, tea, whatever you wanna put in them. But these were my part. My these were um, chosen by my partner. He likes this metal stuff. Um, this will pre this I think we paid only six pounds for less than that actually I think we paid three pounds for both of them so they were not expensive so if you're going to Turkey look out for these things they are very traditional as well um, oh, okay they are for shah for tea now I remember the guy explaining they are for you to put your tea inside and then uh, they've got the little pouring detail here that you can pour it so what do you guys think do you like these as well please let me know oops sorry i moved the camera let me know what you guys think do you like this is that something that you would buy also let me know do you go crazy trying to buy things for the kitchen when you travel abroad as well like myself <laughs> and um okay so we also got the uh turkish delight uh this is the uh almond flavor it's not my thing, I don't eat sweet stuff because I don't like it. Believe me or not, but I don't like chocolate. I don't like anything chocolate or even chocolate taste or smell. And I don't eat sweets. I don't like it. I've never liked it since I was a child. So we got these as well. I tried one and I absolutely hated it, but my partner loves it. So this is very Turkish. And uh, we also got the um, rose flavor, Turkish delight rose flavor. This we haven't opened it yet, but surely it's gonna get eaten as well. But, um, I'm gonna try to make it last. So this is what we got as well. And um, I'm just gonna quickly, sorry, I keep coming up. Oh, my legs are getting numb. When you, you know, you're not a child anymore, it's so hard to like cross your legs. I'm so stiff. I can't really sit on the floor for a long time. I get all achy. <laughs> you guys the same I get all achy um, so I got this I'm having like a coffee station so I'm so I have a furniture there with two drawers I'm gonna show you eventually when the whole thing is done because I haven't finished yet so I bought these tea um, boxes so I'm going to put it in the um, I bought these um, acrylic dividers that goes inside the drawers so that's why I bought these tea bags because I want to make sure that the drawers are nice and neat with, all, with a variety of good teas okay so we've got the lemon flavor you guys can see this is apple and this is cherry and on the other side we've got the blackberry and the rose and um, lemon again uh, this was very cheap as well 
and uh, we've got again lemon what is this? is it lemon strawberry lemon strawberry I can't see what the other one is just um cherry is upside down and then oh we've got pineapple on the other side pineapple Turkish tea and we've got what is this I have, I'm not wearing my glasses a nightmare I don't recognize that fruit let me know what that is I can't read it so this is a very good variety of tea so I'm sorted for tea for a long time now since you know I've got all these varieties that I got from Turkey and I'm quite happy about let me know what you guys think do you think I got a good variety let me know do you like tea as well are you more of a coffee person or a tea person and last but not least oh actually wait <laughs> my partner is making like funny things dancing and etc to see if I'm gonna laugh you know a typical blow thing we got this rag as well <laughs> sorry I'm behind it can you see it this is more affordable and uh, let me know what you guys think and then again they had very funny colors like reds and orange and etc I tried to go for something that is more oops that is more subtle so please guys sorry I'm right behind it okay you can only see my little pear head sticking <laughs> sticking out what do you guys think do you like this do you think it's a good choice is that something that you would go for as well do you think I chose well what do you think let me know do you like this please let me know in the comments below tell me what was your favorite item so far do you think I did well by buying the tea bags I mean the tea boxes and last but not least oh my goodness I got this um, Turkish uh, tea set they sell them everywhere but look at this beauty this is very Victorian how beautiful is it look at all the little butterflies with you know they've got pink butterflies blue greens uh, brown I don't know orange they're so lovely I absolutely adore it but unfortunately they only had two of these sauces so I said uh, you know I don't mind I'll take both of them so they only had two left and um, I got them regardless and uh, I think they look so cute you guys tell me what you think do you like this as well The other ones, I got four of this. If you like Mackenzie Childs, you know what I'm talking about. This is very similar to Mackenzie Childs um, pattern, isn't it? Because I'm getting the, um, I'm obsessed with Mackenzie Childs. I'm getting the teapot for Christmas and I cannot wait to get that, to get my hands on it because I absolutely love them. If you, I don't know if you, if you don't know Mackenzie Childs, just check them out. Mackenzie Childs. Um, if you are in the uk.co.uk or United States and you fo you fall in love with their things a lot of it is expensive if you like high-end uh, kitchen stuff if you like expensive stuff for your kitchen you love Mackenzie Childs I'm in all into all these things you know it's Meg, KitchenAid, Mackenzie Childs I absolutely adore it I love it so look at how beautiful it is look at that beautiful I don't know if you guys can see I've got the product showcase on on my camera but I don't know if it's working properly you can see that um, pink butterfly is so delicate so lovely this is so beautiful so I got four of these and um, I'll show you the little teacups that comes with it so that's how it, it would use it so you've got the uh, salsa and then you've got the uh, teacup it's very delicate you have to be really gentle and careful otherwise they will break very easily and then as you can see it's got the uh, golden ring this is so beautiful guys please tell me do you like this as well as much as I do I absolutely love it look at how nice it is 
Isn't this so pretty? It makes you wanna uh, have guests so that you can use it. You can show, <laughs> show. <laughs> I was gonna say show off, but I don't like using that terminology. You know, it's just so that you can use all these things, isn't it? Because, you know, that's why you buy them really. Just to make sure that you've got pretty stuff, you know. Let me know what you think, guys. Do you like this as well? Which one do you prefer? This one, let me show again. Or do you prefer, let me get it out of the bag. Which one do you prefer? I'm just be very careful. Do you prefer the uh, butterfly one? Or do you prefer this one? Let me know. Please let me know. It'd be interesting to know if people have a similar taste, similar taste to me. And uh, excuse me if I'm not looking at the right direction, but because I'm not wearing my glasses, I feel really lost. I can literally just see myself like the blue cardigan. I can't see my eyes or anything else. And this is the um, the teacup. And you can see the uh, the ring as well. I'm just trying to put in front of the camera so you can see the. Uh, so let me show you this again, in case you haven't seen it. And then I'll show you the other one. And the other one. And um, I'll show you this as well. Please let me know what is your favorite item. I'm just showing all of them again so you can remember. That's this one as well. That was chosen by my partner. And this small one was me who chose it. Then we have these. And uh, we have the lamp, which is the first item I showed. Um, and, uh, oops. and then you have the tile. And um, and then you have the uh, plate. And uh, what else? And um, this cushion cover. And obviously I showed you the rug. Okay, so it would be interesting to know what you guys think, which one is your favorite item. So please do comment below so I know. And um, I would love to know what your opinion is. And uh, let me know if you guys like buying things like that for your home when you go abroad as well. Do you look for things for the kitchen or do you look for things for yourself? I think that the things for the kitchen, for the house in general, they can be pretty good and pretty nice. So let me know what you guys what you guys do when you go on holiday. And that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. It's very informal. Just wanted to turn on the camera and show uh, the things that I got from Turkey to you because I'm excited about it. Um, when I was on the airplane, I was already thinking about it. <laughs> How sad is it? Oh my gosh! So I leave. I leave home thinking about what should I buy or things I should be looking for and then when I'm on the plane back home I'm thinking oh my gosh I can't wait to start using my stuff and to see them again <laughs> how sad oh my lord <laughs> but you know you like what you like isn't it yeah so that's going to be it for today's video guys I really hope you enjoyed it and please let me know comment like and Thank you for, for your company and see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> gone now and that you won't stay here. Keep looking back, don't wanna forget ya. Yeah, I wanna do it all again. So I keep pushing rewind. Hoping you'll survive my